Uh, Rodrigo has asked, I'm building a 4.6 modular Ford power plant using a stock rotating assembly, uh, but I plan on running a moderate nitrous shop. My understanding is that I do need do not need to give the rings a looser gap due to sorry that I do need to give the rings a looser gap due to the additional heat produced by nitrous. Is this recommended even if using a moderate nitrous shop? Okay, so generally, yeah, the rule of thumb is yes, uh, if you are going to be using nitrous, it is a power adder, uh, very similar in a way to forced induction. What we're doing is adding more oxygen into the cylinder uh, so that we can add more fuel and we're getting a bigger combustion event. So in turn, this is going to create more combustion temperature and we do need to account for that. Uh, with nitrous though, what we do need to sort of consider as well before you go and uh, make a massive adjustment to your ring end gaps is how much much nitrous are you adding to the engine, how big physically is the nitrous shot and how often do you expect to be running it. Uh, so on a street car it's probably pretty difficult to use nitrous for an extended period of time. If you are building a drag car where we see nitrous used a lot then using nitrous for an entire uh, run down the drag strip can put a lot of stress on the engine and in that instance I certainly would be uh, recommending that you consider uh, loosening your ring end gap slightly. That question was taken from one of our free live lessons. If you like free stuff and you're the type of guy who wants to expand your knowledge, click the link in the description to claim your free spot to our next live lesson. You'll learn about performance engine building and EFI tuning, and you'll also have the chance to ask your own questions, which I'll be answering live. Remember, it's 100% free, so follow the link to claim your spot.